Now that's a four foot. With the Detroit in it. Maybe selling this truck and the other international, the 85 S1600. Cleaned up some barrels. Move the barrels over here. They're empty, clean. Got to get them ready for uh, anybody looking for a burning barrel. Keep that in mind. And got some a pile of rotten wood here from uh, I believe Irene. I think that was what 2012. So I was stashing it back here, just never thought about it. So gotta go. I just loaded up a, a box with brush and about six or seven of these logs. And there was a couple monsters from the job. I mean, they're big. That's like four feet across. They're four footers. See, it goes from there to there. So there was like six of these chunks. I'll show you. Gotta separate all the concrete and whatever junk that was here from prior when I got here getting it all clean a couple chunks of concrete in here put that in a concrete pile yeah it's pretty nice I mean the topsoil is gorgeous so we'll clean it up looking pretty good I think today's like the 29th maybe or something haha <laughs> look at that this is a monster maple log and a bunch of chunks in there this is a 12 yarder it's probably 14 feet long don't load your dumpsters like that i'm only going about a mile down the street so i can do this and this is my box you know so the owner you know do this but well, it's really not as bad so i'm gonna get it on a truck and then throw a couple straps on there and that thing ain't going nowhere here she is. Pretty cool. It's got some nice lights on it. Check that out. It's got a little beat up toolbox on the back. I mean, it's it's pretty cool. I'll probably have to take this off, but I think the generator fit perfectly on it. This They had a generator on it. And it looks like it had a piano box on the front. It's kind of cool. It's got some, got some stuff here. So maybe we can use it. Maybe we not. Who knows? Might just rip it right off. It's got a nice little latch on it. But yeah, we'll send her. Here's the other thing too. I had to pop the uh, utility box off the ten-ton trailer with the backhoe. No footage, I had to do that kind of in a rush this morning. But I'll show you what we uh, had to go pick up. Picked up a uh, parts M37. No motor, no transmission, but it does have a transfer case. One door, definitely some good parts on it. The frame is pretty damn straight, I'll be honest with you, it's real straight. Solid front axle, you know, no parts off the axle. That frame, straight as can be. Beautiful. Got a tire, two tires, you know, all four tires. That's clean. So if anybody's looking for a frame of an M37, get a hold of me. Ian, look at, boom and boom. You can't really see it, but there's two shafts coming out of there. Transfer case is intact. So, if you don't know what an M37 looks like, it's got like a uh, sealed kind of, I don't know what you want to call that, king-pinned axle. Good step, solid. 
air air cleaner extra one of these gizmos that's cool clean that up use that on the good m37 and i believe uh where does it say maybe it's this tag right there u.s property 1261 so if anybody has any interest in it Let's see what else we got here. The box is a little rusty surface rust, but it's there. Tires and rims looking pretty good. This is what I like right here. This stake body. I'm going to take these off. Use it on my truck. The stakes, they're steel. Got a ton of extra parts here. The hood, I'll pull that off, see what that looks like. A couple lights. So I guess when you find a M37, you gotta get your hands on it and take it home. So we got her. So if anybody needs some parts, let me know. Let's see if I got it over here.